I'm Clay Archer, CEO of DPC Technology. Today we're going to do a follow-up on the G4 Dome review and do a deeper dive into the IR reflection issue that seems to plague the dome design. One of the most asked questions about the G4 Dome was does it have the same IR reflection issues as the G3 Dome? In our G4 Dome review, which I'll link below, we had mixed results. Inside the dome performed well, but outside it was less than stellar. In this follow-up video, we'll take some time to really dial in the camera and compare it to the G3 Dome and the G3 Flex. Try the camera in different orientations, thoroughly clean the dome, and try adjusting the dome and camera positions for optimal performance. I think you'll be really surprised with the outcome. And with that, let's jump right into the software. All right, so you can see we have the G4 Dome outside. We have it in the same test location we had it in last time. I wanted to use this as a baseline. Obviously, there's a pretty bad IR cast or reflection inside the dome. And we're gonna go out there and see what we can do to make that look a little bit better in its current location. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna have Marty go up the ladder here real quick and he's gonna take the dome off and let's get a baseline of what it looks like with the dome completely off. All right, so you can see the image is really quite nice. I think it's pretty similar to the other G4 cameras. Looks really good, pretty good contrast. IR seems to be, you know, good enough there. You can see there is some cast, you can see on the left-hand side from the G4 Pro, um, but the, the image is pretty good. I'm gonna stop this real quick and I'm gonna go over there and turn that G4 Pro emitter off. All right, so you can see the G4 Dome with the G4 Pro emitter off. It's doing a real nice job of illuminating here. I, I, it's not a super dark spot. We'll bring it inside and go into pitch black room to, to compare it. But this is a pretty good image. I think the IR emitter is doing fine. The lights are off in the parking lot. So all of the light you're getting here is coming from the G4 dome. And there may be a little bit over to the left hand side, there's a G4 bullet that get, casts a little tiny bit of light, but not much into the scene. So what you're seeing here on the palmetto bushes and on the cars here is coming from the G4 bullet. So now I'm gonna have Marty clean the lens a little bit. He went out there with some eyeglass cleaner and a cloth. Gonna have him clean the lens and put it back on and see if it was just a smudge or maybe if it's the location of the way the dome is put on the camera that may have an issue. Again, when we put it on the first time, we really didn't go obsessive compulsive about cleaning it or anything. We just put it on. The installation method for it too is to kind of put it on and then you give it a little bit of a twist to lock it down. And Mark's gonna give it a good wipe on the outside to make sure there's not a paw print on it. And as you can see, I think it may be a little bit better with the IR, but it still isn't what I would be after there. Seems like in that top area, it really is getting a lot of cast. So now I think what we're gonna do is, uh, this is lying on its back, it's on top of a rig. I'm gonna go ahead and flip it over and see if it, flipping it over and pointing it down a little bit more may make it look a little bit better. A nice feature there is that there's auto rotation. You see when he flipped it over there, it just automatically realized it was upside down and it auto rotated itself. Kind of a cool feature. Somewhat better in that location. I still see it, but it is looking better there. I think maybe there might be spots on the dome that, that is better or worse, or also maybe I'm a little bit more used to it at this point, but that actually looks like a much better image with it down. I'm just gonna wipe it again. I still see a cast a little bit there, but I am seeing much less of the cast there. There's still just a haziness now that is just, uh, you know, it's a little bit noticeable. But honestly, if you had a person walking by that, I think you would think that was a pretty good image. I'm gonna go into the camera itself. I'm gonna have Marty turn around and come back by again and just stand in front of it and I'll show you what it would look like if you were trying to zoom in and take a look at somebody, identify them. Not perfect. Um, it's better with the, the cover off, but I think that that's okay. I still think that probably a bullet is gonna be better in this location. Just for reference, I'm gonna have Marty take the, uh, take the lens cap off one more time and just stand in the same location with the lens cap off. And then we'll go ahead and bring the whole unit inside and we'll do a test in the dark room. You can just see there's just so much more detail and contrast when you take the dome off. I think the first one is usable. I think that with the dome off, obviously, it's just that much more crisp and clear. And with that, I'll go ahead and take down the unit from the outside. We'll bring it in and we're gonna put it into a really dark room, put it next to the G3 Flex and the G3 Dome and uh, compare them inside. Okay, so we're inside now and I've got three cameras up. On the top left corner, we've got the G4 dome. Top right corner, we have the G3 Flex. Bottom right corner, we have the G3 dome. We have a second copy in the lower left of the G4 Flex. Same camera, 
both left cameras are the same camera. And real quickly, this is a completely dark room. That was one of the bigger things that people asked for was to do it in a completely dark room. So this is a conference room with the door completely shut, uh, no ambient light at all in this room. Uh, I've turned off the IR emitters in the G3 Flex and the G3 Dome. So what you're seeing here is only the emitter coming from the G4 Dome. As you can see, uh, they're all pretty good images. Um, I'm not seeing the uh, reflection be as big of an issue inside. Still a kind of a flatter image here. As you can see, it's a really nice 4K image. I wouldn't complain about this image at all. I will say that the Flex without a cover is a little bit more sensitive to light. Uh, you can see in the eye chart, it's not as detailed as the G4 sensor, but not having a dome on it does make it a little bit more punchy. And you can see that the G3 dome, grainier, noisier. Uh, obviously you can't see the eye chart quite as well as even the G3 Flex. I think the G3 dome is obviously the loser in this uh, environment. We really didn't have to do really too much to the domes here. There are times where the G3 dome has a big uh, IR cast in it. So I'm gonna go ahead and we'll turn off the IR in the other two and we'll turn on the IR in the G3 dome just to see what that looks like. Okay, real quickly, here is just the IR emitter for the G3 dome. IR emitter is off for the G4 dome. Uh, the G4 dome may be a little bit more crisp here, but it's it's all not that noticeable. And the G3 dome, it's got a little tiny bit of IR cast on it with the emitter coming from it, but not that bad of an image from the G3 dome. Again, you know, the G3 domes, I've got a bazillion of them out there. They're fine for just being able to see somebody walking in the room or illuminating a room. I think that's a perfectly fine image. And you can see the G3 flex, obviously, is doing well with that lighting. I'm gonna go ahead real quickly and I'm gonna turn off the lighting in the G3 dome, turn it on to the G3 Flex just to give you an idea what that looks like. All right, so here we are with the lighting from the G3 Flex. Uh, a little bit different angle there on the lighting here, but again, pretty good. G4 is handling that fine. I think the IR emitters on all three of them are fine. I think probably the G4 has got the, the dimmest of the three emitters but I think that it's perfectly fine. G3 Flex doing well again, not as sharp. Obviously, you know, I think that Ubiquiti is gonna really have something when they come out with a G4 Flex. I think it's kind of the best balance of cost, performance and everything. Um, I'm sure that's gonna be a big hit when it comes out. G3, again, a little bit noisier, a little bit grainier, not as nice of an image, um, but doing, doing quite well. All right, here's one last look at the G4 dome in a totally dark room. I'm not overwhelmed with the, the light. It's nice, it's more than enough to do it. It's not an incredible LED floodlight, but I think it's gonna do fine. This is a an 18 by 12 room, so it's a relatively large room, uh, and I think it's more than enough to cover this area, and you would be able to see anybody walking in without, a, without an issue. As a matter of fact, I'm really quickly gonna have Marty just walk into the room to show you what it would look like to see a human uh, in the room. You can see with all four up what it looks like. Um, I think they all are gonna do a, a decent job here showing you a human in the room. Again, this is the lighting from the G4 dome. And if you go into the individual image, you can see just fine. Uh, Marty moved towards the uh, IR emitter, pretty good. Uh, G3 Flex still tends to win this. I do think that not having the dome on it is an, an advantage there, but this is a sharper image. There's just more data on that, that four megapixel lens. So uh, honestly, the G3 Flex or the G4 Flex one day when it does come out, I think it's gonna be the winner of this. But at this point, the G4 Dome has probably got the most data, looks the best. Obviously it has smart detections on it as well. So. I just wanna quickly go through and see if the IR cast was gonna be an issue inside in a totally dark room. I don't think that it really is. I think the dome is per performing as you would expect it to. I'm gonna do one last quick experiment before we go ahead and wrap this up. All right, so for our final experiments, I took the domes off of both of the G3 and G4 dome. And you can see the G4 is a little bit crisper. Um, I don't know that it's necessarily that much of a difference. Looks nice, uh, G3 Flex. Still punchy, looking good. I think they're maybe a little bit more comparable now, a little bit more light uh, shining through. Uh, G3 dome, 
God, it's still grainy, you know. I, I don't know that taking the dome off really, really changed that much of it. Um, I don't know how much that's coming through on YouTube, but they look pretty similar that they did originally. I'm gonna have them already throw on the light real quick so you can see what everything looks like in the light. And I'll go really quickly through, watch, you, watch them all change back over to daylight mode. To the G4, found it quicker, but you can see obviously in daylight, uh, the G4 is the camera of choice. Uh, really nice image, very clear. I am getting some more off of the uh, tabletop there. Things with a really tight pattern, it will tend to do that on a nice sensor as well. So anyways, that's, I'm getting a little more there off of the tabletop, which I'm not getting in the other two sensors. I don't think they're detailed enough to see it. G3 Flex image looks good, not as good as the G4s. G3 Dome looks like last generation. <laughs> And it just does not look like that good of an image. Uh, I think this is really where obviously the G4 is going to shine the most in the light, but I think adequate in the dark. That's pretty much it for this part of the experiment. I'm going to go back to the studio and we'll sum up my findings. Okay, so I still have some mixed feelings about the dome design. The camera sensor, wide angle of view, and smart detections make this a really attractive solution, but there are some considerations to make. Obviously putting the IR emitters behind the dome causes some issues at night. I think the G4 dome will be ceiling or wall mounted indoors 95% of the time. In those conditions, I see no problem with image quality. The G4 IR emitter is the weakest of the three, but I still feel that it is more than bright enough even in a pitch black environment. My advice to anyone using a dome camera is to take some time and clean the dome and lens. I would also make sure that the dome is properly seated against the camera body. I went around to all our G3 domes and gave them a quick cleaning and adjustment and I was really happy with the improved quality. As for outdoor use, I would follow the mounting instructions from Ubiquiti and mount the unit two feet or 60 centimeters from the edge of the soffit or overhang. I understand the wide angle lens of the G4 makes it an appealing outdoor device. But with that being said, there are other cameras with better nighttime image quality. If you do use the G4 dome outside, you should consider getting an IR floodlight. I'll put one in the links down below. I'd like to thank everyone on Reddit, Facebook, and here on YouTube for asking questions and helping me get this content together. If you have any other questions or things you'd like us to test, please put them in the comments down below. Also, I have a link to all the gear we used in this video below. If you grab them there, it really helps us create this content. Lastly, if you like these kind of videos, please like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.